Hi, today we're going to be talking about articulation or tonguing. If your articulations on the saxophone or clarinet are coming out kind of punchy or delayed or inconsistent, the most common reason that this is happening is because uh, you're using a ta attack, so the tongue is hitting the reed. So in practice, that might sound something like this. However, if you use the LOL method, the LOL method, then your articulations are going to come out clear and it's going to sound more like this. The LOL method is actually pretty simple. So for the L part, oh, your tongue is pushing down the reed to close off the tip opening, the little gap. This prevents any air from going through and this uh, prevents the reed from vibrating. When you want the sound to start, that's when the O of the LOL method starts. The tongue comes off, the air goes through, the reed vibrates, you have your saxophone sound. The final letter in LOL, the final L, is used to close off the reed again if you want a clear ending to the note. In order to play with a clear sound on the saxophone, we need a steady stream of air flowing at all times. The L part of the LOL is just interrupting that stream of air, so the air should always be ready to go. So it should be L, O, L with the air continuing, except for where the tongue breaks it up. When you put the tongue back on, it'll secure the end of the note very clearly, and it'll sound like this. For even shorter separated staccato notes, all you have to do is make the O part of the LOL just a little bit more brief and then return the tongue uh, with the final L in LOL. That will sound something like this. Let's get some practice before we move it on to the saxophone. Step one, we're going to say lol without moving our jaw and continue it going. La 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 Step two. When we play the saxophone, it requires a lot more forceful air than what we just did, right? So now we're going to try exhaling forcefully, and the tongue is just going to get in the way. That'll be like this. Step three. When you feel like you've mastered that and you've got the feeling kind of memorized inside your mouth, you can move it to the mouthpiece and neck and keep the air flowing. And that should sound something like this. And there you have it, the LOL method. Happy practicing.